Hello and welcome back to Grafter Technology. If this is your first time in this channel, you are welcome. And if you are always here watching and haven't subscribed, please do so by clicking the right subscribe button. Subscription is free. Just click it. All you need to have is a Gmail account. Okay, thank you for clicking and subscribing. All right, so in this tutorial video, I'll be talking about queries. Queries are usually very important in a database. Database is designed for locating specific information stored in a table or multiple tables by creating a query. A query is a search for general or specific data in a field or fields in your database. Running a query displays a data sheet containing the records that fit your search criteria. So you'll be seeing how we create a query or how to create a query in this tutorial. So you'll see I'll go ahead and create a query between these two tables, employees table and as what. So once you want you want to begin creating a table there must be no object open here. These tables mustn't be open. Forms, whatever object that is in the navigation thing must not be open. You need to close all of it. Once you do that, hover your mouse to where you have the create tab, the queries group, and click query wizard button. So we'll be creating a query using the query wizard button. So the dialog, new query dialog box comes out. What you need to do is select what kind of query you want to create. We'll be using the simple query wizard. So it's already selected. Click OK. Once this simple query wizard dialog box comes out, where you have the box, where you have tables and queries, now choose the employees table. Once you choose the employees table, all the available fields, all the fields that are in the employees table would show here. So what you need to do is select the exact fields you want to use for your query. So we'll be using the surname and the other names of employees. So I'll, the surname is selected. I'll move it to this other box by clicking this arrow. So I've moved the surname field to the selected field. And the other names are already selected. If I'm, I want to use the city, I'll just click that. But I want to use the other names, so I'll move it to this other table. Remember, the query we want to create is to show hours worked for week one only. We want to create a query to show hours worked for week one only. So once you are done, selecting the fields that you want to appear in the query from the ta employees table go back and select the hours worked table hours worked table now once you select the hours worked table the fields available fields from the hours worked table would show here because we want to create a query showing hours worked for week one only you will need to be choosing fields like week one week choose the field the field name week and move it to this other part and number of hours that's what we want it's selected already then move it to selected field once you're done click the next button and this uh, simple query dialog box still appears what you need to do the question there is would you like a detail or summary query always choose the detail query because it shows every field of every record so leave it at that click next here what title do you want for your query what title do you want for your query so let's call it employees query for your one you just put whatever title that you want employees query Okay, so once you are done with that, open the query to view information modified the design. So you leave it at that, just go ahead and click finish. 
Once you click finish, you will see your the employee's query appear in the object window. Close it. Now specify a criteria in the design view. Let's go to the design view. Right click the employee's query. And here is the design view. Now this is the design view for your query. These are the tables, employees table, hours work table with the relationship that you or you created. Now the design view, this is where you specify your criteria. Remember what we I want to show you is how to create a query showing hours worked for week one. Hours worked for week one. At this box, these are the field names, the table name, field name employee from employees table, field name from employees table, field name from hours work table, field, uh, field name from hours work table. So now here is where you click create the criteria. We want to create to show hours worked from week one only. Hours worked for week one. Hours worked for week one. So what you need to do by the week here the week you click and type in one now this one is because we want to see week one only we want to create criteria to show week one only week one so that's you actually creating your query so once you do that you would see go to the top the ribbon the design tools or design tab for other people it could be query tools then design tab but for this one, it's design tab. Once you add the design tab, go to the results and you would see the run. Click the run button. You will see the query you just designed. The query is displayed in the data sheet view, which is by here, what you're seeing. Showing the hours worked for only week one. Showing the hours worked for only week one. You can see week one, one, one. So two employees worked in week one and this is the number of hours they did so that's how you create a query so if you want to just confirm you go back to hours worked to see if it's just two employees worked in week one so if you double click the hours worked you will see it's just two employees this and that worked so you see that's great that's how you create a query so close up what you have you can specify which field you want to show in your query now this is your query right click and go to the design view now you can see to show you see this particular row where you have show it's tick you can see a tick there a tick there a tick there to show a particular field it has to be ticked now you don't want to show a field in your query you can uncheck it so number of hours worked from the hours worked table i just unchecked it so if i run the query you will see this field is not going to show so i go ahead design tab results group run now you can see from the data sheet view we have name surname last name i will have week the week um field that's all that field is gone. The hours worked is gone. All right. So that's you specifying save. No, I don't want to save that point. That's you specifying what field should show. All right. Go back to design view. Close. Go back to design view. When you want a field to show, it has to be ticked. By default, these boxes are, you know, checked. But if you do not want a particular fit to show, you just uncheck it. I want to show you another query so you actually get this um, sync in. So I'm going to create a query to show all female employees who worked more than 20 hours. I want to create a query to show all female employees who work more than 20 hours the id uh, the fields that i will need will be the id number the surname the first name 
gender, week, and hours. So with the field um, names, you would know that these two tables are needed. So let's go ahead to the Create tab. And here you would see the queries group and again the query wizard. So once you get the new query um, dialog box appear, we're creating a simple query. You go, it's selected, you click OK. Now you have the simple query wizard at this point. Because we want to select the fields we want to show in the query, you first check the employees table. I want to use the sole name, so I add the sole name. I want to work with the other names, so I add the other names. I also want to work with the ID number. So it's selected, you see it's selected, so I add it by the selected fields. What else do I, I want to add the gender here because we want to show female employees who worked more than 20 hours so the gender of course is needed okay so that's it from the employees table now you go back click the hours worked table choose the hours work table i want to use the week so i click the week remember we're talking about hours worked so i choose the hours worked so now I'm creating a query to show all female employees who worked more than 20 hours and the fields that I need is the ID number, it's here. The sole name is there. The first name is there. The gender is there. Week and hours worked. These are the fields that I need. Once you get all your fields right, you go ahead to Nest. So this Nest, would you like a detail or summary query always leave it at the detail checked um, button so you go to next what title do you want so at this point you place a title there let's call it female query female underscore 20 hours query female underscore 20 hours so that's the, uh, the name of the query and um, once you're done, remember the first um, example I showed, I left it at this point. So choose this one, modify the design query. So this, once you choose that particular one, you click finish. So with that button, it takes you straight to the design view. Once you get the design view, now I'm going to tell you again what I am creating. I'm creating a query to show all female employees who worked more than 20 hours, who worked more than 20 hours. So here in the criteria row, I have to search for, when I go, I'll find the gender here. That's the gender. Remember, I'm looking for employees that are female. So that's what I have there employees that are female so i put f there for female now i go to hours worked hours number of hours worked remember that's what it has to be employees who worked more than 20 hours so you put the greater than sign and type in your 20. show you i want to show I'm creating a criteria to show employees that are female. So I clicked here, female. I typed an F there for female that worked more than 20 hours, greater than 20 hours. That is you creating a criteria for your query. Once that is done, once that is done, go ahead and design tab, results group, and click the run button. So, it, the, the query is now displayed in the data sheet view. Now, this is the gender, female, female. These are the week, weeks they worked in and the number of hours they worked, greater than 30. Can you see? Greater than 20, that was our criteria. So, we have here 30 and 60. Once you get that, 
you can see I've created two queries and they are all showing in the navigation pane. Once you do that, close your query. Do you want to save changes? Yes, of course. And that is how you create a query. I hope you do like this video. Please, if you do, click the like button, drop your comment and tell me what video you would like me to make again. And of course, I'm going to do that. I'll see you in the next video.